Hey there guys, Sir Shwavy here, bringing you part 6 of the Buried Highlights, and this is basically later on in the rounds, almost near the end. This is essentially the part that goes awry, in other words, the part where everything starts to go poorly for us. Um, we decided to go to enter the house once more in order to attempt to go to the Pack-a-Punch room and uh, Pack-a-Punch our supplies, potentially. Um, pack a punch our p supplies potentially a lot of peas in there um, but anyways basically the reason that it all goes downhill is because I decide for whatever reason to use the uh, shock gun instead of using the ray gun to murder all of these uh, maids uh, crazy witch people thing I don't even know what they are um, so long story short I end up losing all of my perks this round I end up getting, I believe, Juggernaut and Vulture's Aid back. I could be wrong, but I think those are the two perks that I choose to buy once more. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much downhill slope for us from this point on. Uh, we can't really do much uh, after everyone has been downed. And as you guys see, all of my teammates are going down. They're all dying. And my... As you guys can see, all three of them are down. I'm the only one left, and I decide to go for the closest one, you know, get some extra support to uh, to help me out. Ends up helping me out, actually. We are able to survive a little bit longer because I decided to do that. Um, alternatively, I could have just left him, and I could have just ran all the way to Pack-a-Punch, potentially not making it, though, uh, because there was going to be a lot of zombies there waiting for me. Uh, and... Given the situation, or rather given the circumstances that had arisen, I probably would have ended up surviving alone with no one else, and I didn't really want that. I wanted to, you know, share in the survival, if you will, with uh, my teammates. And right here is basically when the biggest mistake happens. I decided to charge this because I know that, that it's for some Easter egg or something, and I, we, we didn't really know what it did. As I said, this was on launch day, maybe an hour or two after it officially launched. We had no idea what that was for, but we just knew it was something important. And then I get cornered and go down. So unfortunately, that's uh, pretty much how I lost all of my perks. And then my cousin goes crazy mode, saves me, and then immediately afterwards, he goes down. At this point, I'm like, I'm gonna save you, bro. I'm gonna do my best. He's like, no, just run, just go, just forget me, just run. I'm like, god damn it, I don't wanna, and then I just kind of have to go. So, <laughs> you know, I kind of let my team down there um, by being a really incompetent idiot for going for the Easter egg or whatever that circle thingy is without even knowing what it does, how to activate it, um, or whether it was even significant or important at all. Basically, I ended up just screwing myself and my teammates over. Thankfully, though, I did have this uh, time bomb on me, so I'm able to uh, to revive them. And I'm like, you know what? What if it doesn't work when someone else is alive? Keep in mind, this is before uh, everyone got to analyze however this uh, device works. So I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it down. Make sure everyone gets re reborn. Um, essentially what I think it does is it resets everything to the start of the round. The scores, I believe, will stay the same, or it might change for everyone but your own. Anyways, nice little jump cut to round 19. You guys see I have Juggernaut and Vulture's Aid, uh, both of them at the same time. And basically, this is when you guys will see all the panic start to happen. Uh, we start running around in circles trying to get a little rape train or some such, um, I don't know, apparatus beginning to, to function. I don't know. We start trying to kill as many zombies without losing uh, any of our teammates, without losing ammo, without wasting ammo, if you will. Um, and that proves to be somewhat dangerous in that, so this is four players online, there's a lot more zombies than just a single player. Um, and also, since I'm not really a zombies guy, I have a little bit of trouble going around uh, making rave trains. The only map that I do know how to do a good rave train in is Shinonuma from the original World at War. Then again, also the remake for Black Ops. I, I knew how to survive decently up to there. Um, by myself, I can survive up to around 31 or 32, I don't remember. 
Uh, and then World at War, I went up to around 37. 37? 36 or 37. I can't remember if I made it past 36 or when I or whether I died in 36. Because so I remember that 36 was when I got really, really bored. So I was like, I don't know. I kind of feel like just ending it now. And then another part of me was like, you know what? You should just go for 37. Might as well just go for as much as you can. And if you can, go for 38. I don't remember if I ended up dying 36 or 37. But anyways, that's enough for this episode of the highlight videos. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye, sirs. was still growing. My mama always said if you would paint it, do not show it. So I kept my heart cold in New York while it was snowing. It's the fact you failed to notice, but a fact that you should notice. It's said to be without regrets and told without provoking. The greatest story told and the greatest story known. I swear this shit was destiny because I never chose this. I got high in high school.